everybody. Welcome in and thanks for joining me today. Over the last few days, I've had several people ask me how they can take pictures from their Google Photos and share them with their family and friends so that their friends and family don't have to look on Google Photos. Instead, they could just go to a link, and once they go to that link, to that URL, they would see the pictures scrolling through automatically, and they'd be able to share their pictures that way. So I'm going to show you a really neat workaround on how you can do that today. Okay, as you can see on the screen, I have gone to my Google Photos screen. So photos.google.com is where you want to go. And I've landed on my Photos page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to organize the photos that I want to share into an album. And that will make it easier for me to select and to bring those photos into a place where I can share those out on the web. So I'm going to make an album, very simple. I click on Create Album, click on the plus sign here. And up at the top, I'm going to title it. And for this one, I'm just going to title it Critters. And then I want to select the photos that I want to use. Now, I can select the photos directly from my Google Photos, or I could upload them from the computer if I had some pictures that were sitting on my computer someplace. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select pictures directly from my Google Photos. And I'm going to click Done after I've selected those photos. And it's going to populate this new album called Critters. And there are the pictures that I have selected. So you can see them back in the albums. There's an album called Critters. Perfect. That's what we wanted to do to start with. So again, you're going to take the pictures that you want to share from your Google Photos or from your computer, and you can always upload them using the Upload button, and you're going to place them into a Google Photo album. That will be kind of your library for the pictures. All right, let's move on. The next thing I want to do is I want to set up a new Google Slide Deck. And that's going to be the vehicle I'm going to use to present those pictures out on the web. So I'll go into my Google Drive, click on the New button in the top left corner, click on Google Slides, and that will open a brand new Google Slide presentation for me. Once I get to Google Slides, I have three sections here. On the left, I've got the slide sorter view. This is where my slides will all populate. In the center, I have my canvas for working on slides. And on the right, it's asking me to select a theme. Here you can select from any one of these pre-made themes that are all available to you. If you like one of those, that's fine. If you don't, you could just stick with the top one. That's kind of a simple one. For this one, I'm going to pick dark. That will put a black background around anything that any picture that doesn't take up the entire slide view. Here I'm going to add a title. So this was about critters. And I might want to say, enjoy the pictures. OK. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a couple new slides. I had three pictures that I was going to put in. So I'm going to add, well, maybe I had four. I'll add four slides. And these are the slides where I'm going to put my pictures. All right, so I still have my title slide. I'm going to go to the next slide in the slide deck. I can get this themes out of the way by clicking on the X in the top right corner. That gives me a little bit more real estate to work with here. And very simply, what I want to do is I want to insert my pictures onto these four slides. So I'm going to go to the Insert Image icon on the left toolbar here. I'm going to click the arrow to pull down, and I'm going to navigate to Photos. So Insert Image, and then Photos. I want to bring those pictures from my photos into these slides. You'll notice that on the right-hand side, a toolbar opens up that gives me access to my photos. It also gives me access to my albums. So here I can click on Albums, and I can click on this Critters album that I just created. And I can select the images. So I'm going to select this image. I do have to do this one at a time because I want to place one image per slide. So I select an image. In the bottom right, I'm going to click on Insert. And that image is going to be inserted onto the slide. I don't need to worry about anything else here. That will not show up when it's viewed. I'm going to go down to my next slide. 
going to return to the image insert icon, return to photos, and I'm going to select the next image that I want to insert, click insert, and it will be inserted onto that slide. And I'll do the same thing with the next two. Select photos, select the image, and insert. And you can do this with an almost unlimited number of photos into an almost unlimited number of slides. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we have four pictures, and I think that's enough. So there's our slides, and this is what we would like our family and friends to be able to view, but we don't want them to view it here. We want them to view it as a full web page out there. So we're going to take care of that. We're going to put a title on this, which is Critters, all right? By going to File, so in the File menu, there is an item called Publish to the Web. So File, Publish to the Web opens up a dialog box that tells us that this is going to make our content visible to anyone by publishing it to the web. You can link it or embed it in a document. Well, we just want to make it available by publishing it out on the web. We want our slides to auto advance, let's say every five seconds. We would like our slideshow to begin as soon as the player loads, so we're going to check that box. And we would like it to loop, so we would like it to restart after the last slide is shown. So we're checking that box, and then we are clicking on Publish. Once we've clicked on Publish, it warns us that we're publishing this content out to the web, and it gives us some options for sharing it. We can copy the link to look at it, or we could send that link to our family and friends so that they could view it. We could also share it via an email, we could share it on Facebook, or we could share it via Twitter. For the purposes of this, I've copied the link just so we can see how it works. I'm going to open a brand new tab. I'm going to paste the link into that tab. And as soon as I enter, it should come up. And there it is, Critters. Now it will stay on each picture for five seconds, and it will auto-advance. I'm not advancing it. It's auto-advancing. So however many pictures you have inserted there into your slide deck, it's going to auto advance through each one of those images. And then once it has gotten to the end, it will repeat and loop back through the presentation for however long they leave that up there on the web. Okay, so I hope that was a really helpful presentation for you. Remember, as you go through it, you can click pause to follow the steps and good luck with that. Share your pictures. Show them to your family and friends, and I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.